Congratulations on this. Thank you. What did you think when you first read the script? I thought that that was no ordinary project. Yeah. I thought that there was, especially coming from Alex Garland, I thought that there was a very timely and well-written script. Yeah. Um, and obviously you guys shot this two years ago, but you're releasing it six months before the election at this kind of politically crazy time. How does that timing kind of feel for you? You know what, I think that any art form is a, it's an interaction b between the what an artist wanted to say with it, with the time and the audience, a particular audience that's receiving this. Let's think that if this film was uh, was released like 10 years ago, it would have a different reception. If 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 we would release this film 10 years in the future, it would be another it would have another uh, uh, reception. So I, I always find that very uh, fascinating, right? Like even like films that are reevaluated like after 20 years, 30 years, and people go look, oh my God, look at what this film is trying to say. But of course, it's going to be read uh, in the middle of this polarization, which is why I think Alex wrote this, which is what this film is about. Yeah. And some of the chatter on this has been like, is this going to incite real life violence, any of that stuff? Do you, are you worried about that or do you feel like that's a risk? I, I wish it doesn't happen because this is exactly what what the film is not about you know the film doesn't have a, a political agenda you can you can really not say that this is a liberal film it's a conservative film it's a film that says that polarization can lead I'm, I wouldn't say like it was going to lead to any civil war but can lead to social conflict you know and and it's a, and it's a problem for democracies so what's kind of the biggest thing you want people to take away from this yeah, like I said, I mean, people have different reads, right? Like, it, 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 you, you have, I know what I thought when I was doing, I know, I kind of know what Alex thought when he was doing, but the beauty of it all is that when you release it, it's going to have different reads, right? Some some of the reads are like, are like a surprise in a good way. Some of the reads can be a surprise in a bad way. Yeah. But f I can tell you m myself, uh, after I wrapped this film, I really started to reach out to people that think, differently politically you know and listen to them you know because if 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 you believe in democracy if you're not like some crazy racist uh, i don't know homophobic kind of crazy thing i'm really listen uh, willing to listen to you and i'm surprised to i was very surprised to see that there are a lot of common grounds lots of common grounds if if, if our differences are only like how the state deals with things we should definitely listen to each other and talk to each other and avoid this hate, this you know, this polarization. This, uh, and journalism plays a very important role in that. You know. And one of the things that's been getting a lot of attention is like the California and Texas being on the same side. What did you kind of think about that decision that Alex made? There was, I was I saw a poster with that Godzilla and 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 King Kong are on the same side, right? They're working together. Yeah. Uh, but uh, 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 in in this one. I think that if there is a, a, a autocrat government, you know, if there is a fascist government uh, that's like destroying democracy, why wouldn't yeah. Texas and California get together to, to bring this guy down?